my backyard was full of clover and creeping Charlie. I made every attempt in the last, what, four weeks. First, I had to put down Turf Builder, and I got Scott's 3-in-1 Turf Builder. It was supposed to kill the weeds, kill the clover, kill the, kill the weeds, and, and build up the grass. Uh, I could see a lot of new grass sprouting up. Um, two weeks ago, around this time, my whole yard was full of white clover flowers. After I did the 3-in-1 Turf Builder, I sprayed the little weed be gone. Uh, the weed be gone, it really, um, it put a dent, a dent in the clover. I could still see spots where I missed. Um, I included some surfactant, like a splash or two, you know, just a, little, a couple what the YouTuber told me to do inside of that weed be gone, and it also killed the clover. I still see a few spots that I missed that I'm gonna come back and hit this week, like here, and I still see some creeping Charlie in the grass, but it's nothing like what it what it was. And as I go through, you could you could see the the spots where the clover died. I mean, it was a lot. Like the whole yard is full of it, and it's slowly dying. I still see. Uh, areas that need to be retreated and I'm um, like I said I'm gonna go ahead and go behind and retreat this over there I saw a few grubs in the ground and you can see where the it's dying so I just got to come back and thatch and then I'm gonna overseed but yeah it worked it absolutely worked I can see the new grass coming up everything is looking really really pretty and I'm gonna keep it up. You can see where the clover is dying. It died, it died, it died. So far, I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome and I'm gonna keep up the treatment. Sometimes you don't even need true green chem lawn. Had I known it was gonna come out this pretty, I would've recorded the beginning, but yeah, I'm satisfied. It really did work. You do have to put that little bit of surfactant inside of your weed be gone so that it could stick to the clover because the leaves have a waxy coating on it and the three in one turf builder did not do much it, it, it did fertilize my grass my, I see my grass is coming in thicker but it did nothing to the clover I had to go around and treat it two and three three more times and I'm totally satisfied and it wasn't even that expensive and you didn't even have to keep calling true green Kim lawn and start any type of a plan you can look and see I killed it. The little white areas, everything's getting dark and brown. This shit is dead. That clover is dead, it's dying. That's right. And I took care of it. I'm gonna show you, see it's dying all in there. This shit is dying, okay? And my grass is gonna come up even better. Yeah. Where's my... I'm gonna show you what I used. I used I used this type of a weed be gone. I put it in a spray bottle. This was the surfactant that I purchased. You just gotta use a splash of it, and it goes inside of your spray bucket. It's uh one ounce of the weed be gone, a splash of the surfactant to one gallon of water, and yes, it did the trick. I showed you my results. I'm happy. Um, and I'm going to continue the treatment. Again, if you want to get rid, rid of the clover and the creeping Charlie in your yard, and you want it to go from all those white flowers to a nice green yard, get the weed be gone, put the surfactant in there, make your little spray bottle, um, click, cover all the areas. Don't forget to go back and hit it again about a week or two later if you missed any spots, which is what I'm going to do this Friday. Hey, and I got some green lawn, people. It turned out really good.